there are some clear advantages. If you think about, for example, voice-based batch picking, it's a very useful application. And if you are a customer and you want to select one of these voice-based batch picking, you go to an app center. You select two or three, you take out the best one and you start using it. So this really helps you making it very easy, very efficient, but it also brings down your total cost of ownership for running this whole application. To create a data-driven culture, you need to have a data-driven vision as an end user. You need to reward the people that provide data-driven applications, where you need to have access to the data and where you work as a multidisciplinary team to create these new apps. If you are an ISV and you can help with creating these apps, whether it's custom apps or whether you can help them selecting the right app from your app center, start using it, you bring success. And if you bring success, you create a data-driven culture. So as an ISV, you want to build your platform on an easy to use system. You want to have access to all the data. So let's take an example, voice based batch picking. You want to have access to real time data from the stock, but you also maybe want to have access to experience data, internal data, external data, and whether it's stored on premise, in cloud, hybrid cloud, it doesn't matter. You want to have access via the cache input, run maybe algorithms on top of it, and provide an application that supports with voice-based batch picking and make it via an API available because APIs really democratize data and democratize ERP systems.